All right. So a little bit information about me. Uh, my name is Anshul Sharma. I work with ME Solutions as a lead automation engineer. Uh, I joined them three years back, and one of the tasks given to me was to build an automation framework and uh, run it for a web application. So I picked up uh, some of the tools which I was comfortable in, Selenium WebDriver, Java, TestNG, Maven. Um, and last year, I moved my automation jobs to Jenkins uh, as a CI tool. So a little bit information about what is ME. Um, this is the only fancy slide I have. Rest of them are very simple, so I just wanted to add it. So ME is a healthcare technology company. We make um, patient engagement software, and we believe that patient is the most underutilized resource. So we provide patient the information in very uh, layman language, uh, which can be understood in terms of videos, articles, or any handheld information, which is prescribed actually by a doctor. So that makes it really important for us to make sure that our application is testable across different browsers, platforms, and uh, mobile devices. So I'm going to talk about how I integrated Maven uh, with Jenkins. I'm sure a lot of people who are using automation framework with Maven and Jenkins probably know this, but I just want to give um, my take on like how I used it. So I believe that there are multiple ways where you can set some parameters in Jenkins in order to run or kick off your job. The first one is pretty simple, and I think that's the most used one, using goals and options. Another one is using customized parameter, uh, which I learned through a hard way. I didn't get a direct way on Google, so I found out different ways how I can do that. And the last one is uh, use the Jenkins built-in system variable. I'm going to talk about each one of them. The first one is um, you can set up goals and options um, through command line. Uh, you can see I have set up the environment, browser, and groups in order to run the task suite, which is like if I run a run across different platforms on uh, for smoke test. The second one is using customized parameters. So you can see the parameter name as sauce tunnel. Uh, one of the things I'm using to run my test is cloud platform using sauce labs. And as I'm running most of my test suite for um, QA environment or environment which are not public domain, so they are behind the firewall. And in order to access that, I need to open a secure tunnel between the machine I'm running or the Jenkins server to the cloud platform. So there is a sauce tunnel string parameter name which I'm using. Um, so the key is sauce underscore tunnel, and the default value I gave is my environment name, the type of the test, and my application name. So that's the first place where you check in Jenkins uh, if you want to parameterize your build. And then you use its value in, um, you can see it in the source connect options I've used, minus I dollar source channel. So you are basically passing that key, um, and then it picks up the value. So the idea behind this is you can pass the dynamic value um, without even have to hard code it in your uh, job. Now, that, that was the Jenkins portion where you actually set up uh, the custom parameter. But back to POM file, where, which is your Maven file, you basically extract it using environment variables. I'm using a tag called Jenkins.tunnel, and I'm using the exact value what I actually used in, in the Jenkins job. The another one you can see is also I'm using a build number, because for each run, I want to make sure that um, I log which build I ran this test uh, or this job against. And finally, in your Java file, you just retrieve that variable using um, the actual tag name, what you have stored in the POM file. So you are basically not hard coding any value anywhere. You are basically passing it from your Jenkins job and retrieving it you know, in your code. That's it about my lighting talk, guys. Thanks.